and the next important component in the uh, fire to cause the fire uh, he he chose and then now we will see the oxygen O2 and uh, where we use the oxygen in so many applications i have written some of the applications here welding flame cutting and etc and uh, medical treatment see uh, many times you will see in the movies they will put oxygen mask okay that is supplied with the oxygen cylinder see in most of the cases the oxygen will be stored in the cylinder you might be wondering why we are storing in the cylinder there is a lot of oxygen available in the atmosphere that is a uh, enriched oxygen okay what is we will see what is the meaning of enriched oxygen or pure oxygen it is not mixed with uh, any other uh, you know gases and uh, food preservation and chemical pad do you know in in case of food preservation we also read about the acetylene okay okay so why what is the difference between oxygen and acetylene if it is exposed to oxygen the ripening will be delayed but with the acetylene i think uh, rise uh, ripen will be uh, you know and have um, ripen will be what we call that can get quickly once you check out whether it is acetylene or not and um, um, actually now in the market they use artificial ripening agents like calcium carbonate or something like that okay so especially you know summer season they will use for the mango ripening but that is not good it is a carcinogenic agent okay so you take care about that and uh, we will see um, the effect of different uh, levels of oxygen availability in the atmosphere so what is the normal normal level of oxygen in the atmosphere that is a 21% that is by volume okay so for example if you if you consider the entire atmosphere is having a 100 volume then 21 percentage is of oxygen and the majority above 70% of uh, you know atmosphere filled with the nitrogen and remaining there are some other gases like uh, um and uh, see if oxygen is becoming more than 21% then it is called as the enriched O2 and uh, whenever there is enriched O2 then it is it easily catches the fire it easily catches the fire okay and uh, when 21% then that is a normal condition and uh, 90 at least in the worst scenario 19.5 is the minimum requirement level to work in you now safely to work safely in any environment okay if the oxygen level is decreasing below that then uh, it is uh, very unsafe to work in that because the exhaustion you 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 will get uh, exhausted so easily okay why because while running you need lot of uh, while running or working or doing anything you need lot of energy and lot of oxygen okay to do some chemical you know um processes in our body okay so it is unsafe below if the oxygen level is below this this is the 19.5 is the limit and if it is if the oxygen level is between 12 to 19.5 then the breathing rate will increase and impaired thinking so you are unable to think so properly okay and if it is between 10 to 12 then you faulty judgment exhaustion exhaustion and uh, re respiration problem breathing problem and uh, if it is a uh, 6 to 10 then unconsciousness okay you will go to unconsciousness then uh, if it is below 6% then cessation of breathing with uh, cardiac arrest okay so especially in the rainy season so many slow death happen especially people who ever park the car and uh, wait in the rainy season what happens you know i will tell one uh, a uh, small example like um, there are some fellows who you know um, traveling who traveling in the car okay and uh, very uh, incessant what is that um, um very big rain happening very very unending and a long long duration rain happened because of that uh, you know uh, so many roads were flooding so they just thought like uh, they will travel after you know water uh, um, receded from the roads okay they waited and they closed the, uh, all the doors and they thought that oh, they will keep the ac and uh, aram se stay in the car but what happened that when you are uh, 
keep running the engine then there are exhaust gases you know what are there in exhaust gases mostly carbon dioxide and uh, CO carbon monoxide okay so your car is surrounded by water and uh, they even block the exhaust you know uh, pipe then what happens in, in, instead of going outside then they are coming inside those exhaust gases okay and then oxygen level automatically decreased in the car and uh, instead of oxygen they are taking continuously co2 and co and they won't feel that that they are taking some other gas they are not feeling the um, uncomfortableness or something then slowly everyone died four people died it really happened okay like that oxygen plays very very vital role and um, only 21 percent you know exact percentage you should keep so that's why my dear friends everyone please mind about trees around your surroundings okay do trees are very very precious things that we need to appreciate okay i observed well, this is out of topic but i would like to tell because especially in the cities these days you cannot find any tree a lot of pollution yeah, that means our oxygen level is decreasing decreasing that is not so healthy so please love the trees okay and uh, see what is the problem with this even slight increase in water to catches the fire catches means see, without a uh, heat and uh, fuel it, uh, it cannot catches but uh, provided if you have a uh, heat and uh, fuel then it easily catches with a uh, less oxygen it may not catch that's easily but with the um, enriched one it easily catches and uh, if the fire is started with enriched oxygen then it is very very difficult to put off that fire put off that fire okay difficult to put off that and uh, main causes of fire due to o2 okay when we when can you find these main causes like a uh, o2 enriched enrichment from equipment leakage for example in most of the cases oxygen will be supplied with the, you know um, some o2 cylinders okay o2 cylinders and if there is any leakage then there is an enrichment of oxygen in the atmosphere or uh, around the in surroundings or use of o2 non-compatible materials see you are storing in the some o2 cylinder generally will use aluminium uh, but uh, instead of that if you use some other material then it will react with that and uh, um, it will come out of the cylinder okay so what are the safeguards we need to take first of all you arrange a sensor or you need to sense the o2 enrichment how to sense you cannot sense that see if you are uh, having uh, any workspace or uh, industry where the possibility of uh, release of more o2 is there then you should install some senses sensing devices okay some sensors so that uh, it will uh, sense the o2 enrichment in the atmosphere okay and uh, ensure the ventilation ventilation means airflow so that what happens even though if there is any en enrichment then that enriched oxygen will go out of your uh, you know enclosed room or uh, whatever workspace you are having and uh, whenever you are re releasing the o2 from the cylinder then you re you know um, open the valve slowly okay then there is a possibility of uh, there is no possibility of uh, leakage okay and never replace uh, parts not suitable for uh, o2 then o2 will uh, interact with that and uh, it may make some hole and it escape to the atmosphere okay and this is important never ever ever and never ever like arnab goes for me <laughs> never ever use oil grease and uh, any lubrication especially the equipment which is using the o2 okay because it readily because lubrication oil and grease all these are nothing but uh, fuel all these are nothing but fuel and uh, you are supplying very enriched oxygen then what happens so uh, whenever there is even a little spark is there then it will readily catch the fire then it burn everything and it's very difficult to put off of put off that type of fire also okay for engineering services general studies video lectures visit our www.iesgeneralstudies.com For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com